McFarlane and Toys have shown off the Flash movie line with a couple of 12 inch statues to start things off for their upcoming DC movie with the Flash and the 89 Batman. So as already teased a few weeks ago we would be getting this line especially after the trailer and with many characters going to be appearing in this movie we were all anticipating them showing us some materials as we know that McFarlane always have first access to some of the characters looks and costumes and also releasing them before even the film. So let's first take a look at Flash and I must say the presentation is good even in the box. I know it's a statue already in a set pose but you can see some of the effects that will be included around the arms and legs and I don't think anyone would be keeping them in the box but I think you really need to take them out displayed to really get the best out of it but it's nice to know what the box artwork looks like. And I know there's nothing much to really say other than it's a 12 inch figure representing the look of him in this movie. So we've seen the version of Barry Allen in the Justice League. So this time we will be getting a brighter red suit. So the lightning effects, which will be four pieces included, can be attached to the arms and the foot. And we also get the usual stand as well as a collector's card, which is a digital print of the character Flash. And also taking a closer look at the head sculpt, you can see he has the goggles this time. So overall, I think the likeness is on point and it's really a pose we expect. So Flash running at the speed of force. And then it's the big one, Batman 1989. The statue will be the other release and there's little introduction needed for this. Of course, the nostalgia of Batman, meaning anytime there's a release of this particular one, is going to generate a lot of hype and anticipation. So it's a full jet black look we'll be seeing in the film. The bright yellow symbol on his chest once again, which is so iconic for this particular Batman. And the suit does look very shiny and slick compared to the matte finish we saw in the old previous movies. I'm not sure if this will be in the film as based on what I've been seeing in the trailers and photos, it didn't look like to be that shiny, but maybe it's only for this statue. A hard cape is used for this as expected for all their McFarlane Batmans. And in terms of the lightness, it's not perfect. I feel they could do better with the resemblance, but that symbol in the middle certainly helps. But one thing I just noticed is the belt is also in black which of course in his original film suits, it was a yellow one. So I guess it's easily to differentiate this time, and especially if you are a collector of this 89 Batman, you might have some other figures lying around. So you can definitely see this is the new one for this movie. In terms of the accessories, don't forget it is just a statue, so we won't be getting much, e.g. any interchangeable hands, and there's not even a Batarang in sight, but it is just Batman in a ready to fight stance, as well as the stand and the collector's card. I guess to make things a bit more interesting, he needed to be in some sort of pose, but for me, this Batman would look cool just standing there. So both figures are up for pre-order. I believe the actual figure way will be shown very soon to promote the movie, so I expect them to have Flash and Batman once again, and the other releases being Batman, Supergirl, Zod, the alternative Flash, and maybe some of the vehicles like the Batmobile and Batcycle. And McFarlane have not stopped there in terms of their DC releases as they previewed Batman from Nightfall, so the blue costume with that yellow symbol and in my opinion a definitive look from the comics and also Tim Drake Robin from Robin Reborn which is also another highly anticipated character since we haven't seen much of him in the McFarlane lines. Also first look at Steel from Reign of Superman and Superman Hush have been previewed. So what are your thoughts on this reveal, especially the Flash and Batman statues? I think the prices are affordable, like always for their McFarlane statues, especially compared to some of the others out there on the market. And unless you're a sole collector of statues, I think there is also an option of possibly getting the action figure wave, as I think it won't be far off in terms of the quality and lightness. And of course you get a lot more playability and a bigger collection for those smaller figures. Like, comment and subscribe to see more thoughts on the latest DC toy news collections and reviews and see you next time.